All right, guys, thank you again so much for tuning into all the great content we have for you here over the course of the Sacramento Horror Film Festival festivities. And right now, we've got a cool one for you. This is a group of gentlemen that has not done a full reunion like this since the film came out. They're super excited to talk to each other. And I'm super excited to have the opportunity to discuss what is one of the best cool classic holiday films for I know a lot of you guys who meet us at the Sinister Creature Con Horror Short and Sack Horror festivities. I'm talking thanks killing. So first, let me bring in the director of the film, Jordan Downey. How you doing, man? Hey, good. Thank you guys for having us. And uh, what let's bring in the gang. We got Aaron Carlson, Kevin Stewart, Ryan Francis, General Ban Bastard. Ban I don't know what I was saying. General Bastard and Lance, aka Johnny, off coming in for this one, man. Guys, gobble fucking gobble. <laughs> gobble gobble. Guys, Jordan, man, I want to start with you. Because this thing screams, the monster itself screams like evil dead status. Like the whole necromancer, the deadites, like that drag me to hell. The classic Sam Raimi, like just off the cuff, over the top look to him. And then his his lines, was that the inspiration for you? Uh, well, Kevin and I just, it wasn't, actually we weren't really thinking about evil dead too much were we? we it was more like we were in college and we were watching a lot of south park and family guy it's like ridiculous kind of um r-rated humor and uh and we also loved the all the holiday horror films jack frost and uncle sam and the leprechaun movies and all that stuff yeah so then we were like oh let's go make a feature and and just team up and scrape together whatever money we have we'll go back to ohio and make it there and um, the only holiday horror, the only holidays that really hadn't been exploited into horror films is, is Easter and Thanksgiving. So we just started talking about, well, let's of course do Thanksgiving, but primarily what hooked us is because then we could have a talking killer turkey. And we thought that that would make for uh, a very hilarious uh, sort of Freddy, I guess a little bit of a dead eye sort of vibe. It was more of a Skeksis was more from the, from Dark Crystal was more the inspiration for the look okay. of it but um yeah and it really started from there the humor of the turkey was the the whole reason for us to you know want to make the movie in the first place i think now that you say dark crystal he definitely has that vibe to him yeah he's mm -hmm. the inner workings of uh you know the head with all the his feathers and everything he's definitely uh dark crystal the Muppet, the like the Henson vibe is definitely there within him. But uh, mm -hmm. when you guys are all coming on board, we can kind of like start with Aaron and then work our way across. But you guys get this script thrown at you. Were you just like, holy shit, this is going to be a blast? Or what is, what is all your guys' first reactions to that? Well, he, first he, he just asked me to read it. And I read it, and I'm like, I, I love every single part of this. Like, I am 100% about them. And then he was like, I wasn't doing that feedback. Like, I actually have a, a role in mind for you. And I was like, done. Like, I'm on board. It was that easy. What about uh, what about with uh, you, Kevin? Well, uh, I know I have a, a, a cast credit in on IMDb, but I'm actually the co-writer and co-creator with Jordan, so I was sending these emails out at some point. Uh, not, I didn't interact with Lance or anybody. Uh, one of the any of these guys is their connections of Jordan's. You know, Aaron went to school and uh, and Ryan as well. With Jordan, uh, it sounded like previous theater major or not theater majors, but you know, theater guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, we were just like, let's go make a movie. Let's throw it out there. Let's put this on Craigslist. See who we can come up with. And I think Lance was one of the Craigslist people. Is that right, Lance? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I had just uh, started off acting and I just finished a safe auto commercial. And uh, I, 
I saw the uh, <laughs> I went to uh, his uh, house actually uh, for the reading mm-hmm. and instantly fell in love with it and said, this is classic. I have to be a part of this actually was a perfect spot for me because I played college football and uh, I'm like, I'm Johnny. I didn't really have to act. That's just who I am. So yeah, it was perfect. (laughs) General, what about you, man? General, can you hear us? Um, Well, I came in through Ryan actually. Um, Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? No, yeah, no, you're coming in good now. Hello? Okay, okay. I think there's like a lag here on my end for whatever reason. Um, But, yeah, I came in through it through Ryan and stuff. And I I was always a big fan of the trauma and just, you know, ridiculousness in in general. I mean, look at him, General Bastard, okay? That should say a lot right there. Um, (laughs) You know, but but so, yeah, so when I first got the script, I just thought it was ridiculous. I mean, I thought, you know, there's not not been anything done as far as a – uh, you know, Thanksgiving kind of horror movie and all of that. And and I just thought, you know, regardless, it seemed like a fun couple days to hang out with Ryan and, and, and Aaron I knew and stuff at the time too. Um, so just go have some fun with some friends and, you know, what the hell, you know. It's, uh, um, yeah, I figured it would be a good experience either way around, whether anything came of it or not. Hey, I've been hanging out with you uh, for uh, music shows that Ryan had been putting on for, like, for his band. We actually have a, a one more to add to the group yeah right yeah now. Our, our bands have played together uh, several times through the years before that. So joining us now we have Natasha. Hey, hey. hey finally, yeah. Hello, Natasha. Hey. Now if we get Ryan back, we'll be all set. No, well yeah. I just called him and he went off so because. He sent me the link previously, and then I was trying to make myself presentable. <laughs> no. You so, and Ryan swapped. I had, <clears throat> yeah, so he'll be back on. What's going on, guys? Nothing, man. Thank you for taking the time out to uh, to join us on this panel, man. And now here, now we got Ryan back. back. Now the gang is all here officially. All right. Whoa. All right. <laughs> So Ryan, they were just going around. We were just going around talking about where, you know, the first reaction to the first uh, look at the script. So what was yours? Yeah. I I remember Jordan Jordan took me to a – we were sitting in a donut shop. Yeah, Ryan, you go first, please. Jolly Pirate Donuts. Jolly Pirate Donuts, Heath, Ohio. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought it was hilarious. I, I like I, I just remember seeing that thing and I it was the funniest thing I'd ever funniest thing I'd ever read. Ever. I, I, I loved it. Jordan and I grew up together. We went to high school together and everything. We made a movie together once. A really another really bad movie. A really short one. Um Jordan. Yeah, he showed me this script and it just read <laughs> amazingly. <laughs> well, Jordan's a like wizard at writing, so <laughs> well, we. To be fair, I mean, it was it, it. Actually, Kevin did more of the writing of it. So, if there's any Where's mad Kevin? wizard behind it, it's oh. Kevin. Um, and we had a couple of oh. other friends <laughs> contributing jokes and stuff too. And then all of you guys ultimately improvised. Yes. And it was, you know, was twenty different guy. people. <laughs> yeah, Natasha, there's a fair bit of ad lib. Natasha, you can... hold on. <laughs> right. There we go. Natasha, you you seem like you uh, can't stop laughing just thinking about all of this. Like, what <laughs> was your experience when you came back on board? Um, well, (laughs) this is all kind of, um, you know, pretty good timing for me in terms of like everything that I'm going through, (laughs) like personally, it's like everything always comes full circle and, you know, like how they say that like 
life imitates art and art imitates life and then all of that like uh you know this many years later it's like uh i can attest to that <laughs> you know <laughs> i can definitely attest to that but uh wow this is really cool and yeah i mean i i like i was telling ryan earlier you know that like uh, i was trying to have like a really cool like background and stuff like that and then it's like well we all know each other like it's just us so like <laughs> i'll just There's I took a shower for you guys, <laughs> which I haven't done in a few days. So, uh, <laughs> and, then, of oh, and washed my hair, and you know, like whatever, you know, like the, 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 this is really cool, and like, um, yeah, well, you look be you look beautiful. You're, you're here with the cast. Thanks, Kiv Thanks, Killing. Um, <laughs> Thanksgiving or thanks <laughs> Yeah, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving. That's, I mean, this is a movie. I gotta tell you, Jordan. This is a movie. My family has all watched, but this is a movie that uh, Thanksgiving. My uncle always makes us watch Christmas Vacation after Thanksgiving dinner, and mm -hmm. I'm thinking just to oh. like with him one one thanksgiving maybe this thanksgiving because 2020 i may like tell him that i'm uh, putting in the christmas <laughs> vacation dvd and just get a get a copy of thanks thanks killing and see what the hell they say well, the first i mean jesus the first 30 seconds of the movie i mean you want to talk about starting it off like <laughs> the 70s 80s slasher the first shot of the pilgrim for no reason unbeknownst to other than it's just a bunch of buddies making a horror movie. We got two huge pilgrim boobies right in our face. My entire flat screen TV <laughs> pilgrim boobies for 30 seconds in, and she's running from what? She's running from like what could it be? A pilgrim with an axe? No, fuck all that. It's the turkey with the axe. <laughs> like it's classic, man. The modern TV has millions of pixels, and all of them are devoted to like one nipple. <laughs> 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 Worth it. That's funny because these guys weren't nothing. exactly. That's that was the whole point. It was actually my brother's idea because Kevin and I had like the edit of the movie that we had shot with all of these guys back in Ohio, but we didn't have an opening scene, so oh, we were in California and O O H I O, uh, <laughs> and then we. Mike was my brother. Mike was just like, oh, we were like, how should we open this movie? We need to go shoot something. And he was just like, oh, you should just start on a nipple. And we, we, you know, like <laughs> burst into burst into tears laughing because it's so ridiculous. But then we realized the genius behind it. Um, and uh, so like a lot of this stuff, it's like, you know, there's different people that can take credit for the different things. But that was that was Mike. And and then shooting it was ridiculous and i wish you guys could have all been there to experience to experience oh, that the amount of like tropes that are in the film too like the whole thing where he hasn't he hasn't talked to his dad because he's not the star <laughs> football player and then the last thing that he does with his dad is he lies to him about being the starting quarterback on the team and the dad's like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought he did an awesome job, though. Like, I like it really? actually kind of makes me kind of upset that, like, not upset, but just like a little bit sad that, like, Lance, because he was like a school teacher and stuff, and then like he and from Ohio, he, and it's like a family man and all of that. That like he was like embarrassed about it, and when like Jordan <laughs> and what? Ryan and I <laughs> met up together, like. I think it was like two years ago or something. <laughs> like that was like a mini reunion. That, Lance is like, saying no. Lance is saying he was not embarrassed. Lance. Oh, where's Lance? No. I was Where thinking is? about so. Like a uh, funny backstory about that conversation hey, Lance, with my dad. Guys. You got some explaining to do. <laughs> he had to uh, smoke a stogie in the scene. 
and he had told me that he had quit smoking for like 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time that, that he smoked was that big arm fortunate. Where's Lindsay? <laughs> so Lindsay, actually, Natasha, that's a good point. This is a good time to uh, to put it over. Ryan got us a video. Uh, Lindsay could not make it, but she did send us a message. So let's go to this message from Lindsay right now. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Hi from Milwaukee. I'm super bummed I can't join you guys for the call today, but also really thrilled that everyone is still watching and talking about my favorite horror movie. And I hope you have a ton of fun today. Uh, and in short, gobble gobble, motherfuckers. See you later. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah. Iconic. Gobble gobble, motherfucker. Wow. You stole my That's part. The... That, I was supposed to be. That that was my actual uh, <laughs> intended uh, part in the movie, and then because of a uh, a weird turn of events and the fact that like I'm pretty good at ad libbing and improvising, then these guys, Jordan and Kevin, were like. No, now you're not going to be the protagonist. You're going to be the whore. <laughs> like, I was like, all right. Well, <laughs> you lose it. Fuck. <laughs> that was all joy. Can we talk about the scene when the turkey bursts through the chest, like a la Nightmare on Elm Street 2? And he's just freaking cutting up, and then, and then the freaking the death scene afterwards, where he when he when his body is found, and you're my best friend, don't go, don't go, you're my best friend, don't go for what I was like, I was like watching this, and I'm like, Jesus, it's like almost uncomfortable at the point that they spent on him crying over this ripped open body. My like, what was what is the uh, the gore on that set like? Because it's the reason why I say over the top is because the amount of gore that you guys threw in there with <laughs> turkey and turkeys killed and everything else. What did you make your stuff out of? Like when you guys are uh, doing things like that. Troy that? Troy Smith did the the special effects, and I think those were pantyhose that were kind of they like were. linked pantyhose. together like sausages. It looked like a sausage <laughs> link or something. I um, remember the. Uh, <laughs> The fake blood. I remember uh, there was a good batch that was like supposed to be for like spitting up, like you know, special effect, and it was cinnamon flavored. And you wanted a second take because there was a storm rolling in and like the wind was picking up, and you're like, it's about to rain, we need to get another shot in real quick. Here, just use this. And it was like the general purpose blood, and it tasted terrible. <laughs> But it, there was it a was, storm, and you guys had to yeah. do that, like, really fast, yeah, we were, Ryan. We were and, to get that scene done. Yeah. That was one take. That was, like, I think one take, right? One big long Maybe take. Two I think. quick ones. One or two. I, I, think yeah, it was, I remember, like, the whole... Yeah, it was quick. I don't remember. I mean, I thought there were, I thought there were two. You remember the whole? Was, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> we just remember... Reloaded with Jordan. I think mean, that's one of my favorite parts of the movie because of knowing Ryan and 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 Aaron, and then just seeing them doing that, it just made it that much more ridiculous to me. And especially the scene after where they're running around in the park dancing and stuff <laughs> like that, um, I just found that hilarious. And with the exception of, uh, you know, when Chuck dead body guy was talking to the turkey, that's probably my favorite scene because it just it was just. Knowing these two guys, it was just made it that much more ridiculous, and I just I still laugh my ass off every time I see that. I laughed my ass off the second that I saw the glowing turkey, and he's perfectly fine with just chasing it down the street and then eating it like a freaking like anaconda, just unhinging the jaw, and down goes the turkey all in one fell swoop. Like, I love the fact that the 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 fridge horror implication of like like I swallowed a gun like. And not like a little one, like a full like rifle or like a, like a shotgun, because like he shot me from the inside, so I had to have eaten it. Yeah, <laughs> that that uh, is true. You're, you're trying to make too much that, sense like, out of this. Your whole part <laughs> is totally different from your personality. Like, 
you know, like, well, like, I, I, like, like I like to think we all have a little inner like, blah blah blah. And it's like, <laughs> well, actually, you're like an extremely intellectual artist and theater like guy. So it's like it, it, it's it makes it even funnier with the whole concept of the film that it's like everybody was just kind of like, all right, we're just gonna be as retarded as <laughs> everyone wants us to be, and then like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not that's not really like who we are you know a trope, a trope can be a lot yeah. of fun as long as you know the tropes no yeah i don't think that uh <laughs> anybody honestly thinks you guys were uh your characters in that film the uh i mean just from the some of the one-liners that you guys came up with with when they're talking about the uh who's gonna get banged or what it was in the, in, in the <laughs> in the car at the very beginning and everybody kind of looks at you, Natasha, and you're just like, what are you talking about? And it's almost like a varsity blues, like laugh with the, with the everybody's in on it. Like I'm a pro. Uh, yeah, exactly. Everyone's in on it, you know? So. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> how many, how many, uh, how many takes did this, did this take when you guys are actually like down, like, was it tough to like ring it in? Were you guys like constantly like making each other bust up? Like, oh yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. We were constantly. all just having a blast the whole time. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the hardest part, keeping a straight face. Yeah, <laughs> Everyone I will, ne I will never forget, forget face. the night and the, the the scenes in the jeep after multiple mm -hmm. sleepless nights. <laughs> and we're in that the was jeep Lance's and, like, big... and we are just it was just us. <laughs> that, that was the we were all pretty slap happy. That was at your thing. mom's house. That was so funny. Yeah. That was at your mom's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I just remember Lance was Lance was losing it. Uh, we were all just <laughs> Lance would crush these lines and the gravy the gravy flavored so on them just yeah. It, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please I had so many requests oh for gravy God. flavored on them. going to follow me for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> like you I come to terms with it. <laughs> you could have <laughs> done mean, so many I other flavors both too. Of these boys, I mean, I mean, Kevin and Jordan act out the same before I actually did the scene because I was like, doesn't I'm not everybody doing have this. a bunch of gravy flavored condoms <laughs> laying around? You know, just in I'm case. I'm not going to do this. I'm not. There's no way. <laughs> And Kevin's like, well, just imagine you're going to be on the bottom. This is when, like, the movie stores were still open, you know? He's like, you're going to be, at least you're going to be on the bottom shelf of <laughs> the <laughs> blockbuster. <laughs> so, like, then at least I guess you somewhere. And I'm like, well, you guys do it first, and then I'll do it. Like, <laughs> fine. Fine. Like, <laughs> But I mean, Jordan, Jordan said right. it best. Jordan and Kevin <laughs> and the crew, we were talking, and he said that this movie is going to take on a life of its own when it's released. And personally, I thought it would, you know, a few people would be interested in it, but not the results that I think that we've got, you know, across yeah. the country and <laughs> every platform. You see it and hear about it. And I'm like, what? Did they say thanks killing on? such and such show or did they talk about it on the radio 97 one the fan the huge sports talk radio show here in uh ohio uh columbus mm -hmm. ohio they cover the buckeyes and they were talking about uh thanks killing and the awfulness of it and how it's it on, the greatest it thing on. ever and i listened to it on the way home from work one day and i'm like what i think they've talked about it on mike and mike in the morning when i was his show on espn during the holidays i'm like the date what People will send me this stuff, my friends, and I'm like, dude, this is about Thanksgiving. And, you know, Kevin, Jordan, the cast and crew, you know, I mean, it's crazy what a few people can do. Well, this is one of those. And, uh, creativity. It yeah. is one of those films, like, as a horror fan that you hear the name of, and you're like, what the hell is that? <laughs> and then mm -hmm. you, because I know when I first, when I first heard about it, and I thought it was, I thought it was a, a, uh, like a, a spoof, a joke. I thought it was like someone. Well, it kind of is. 
<laughs> well, no, I, I did, I, I did, it, but in the wake of like Jack Frost, like you, you had mentioned, uh, yeah, Jordan, Jack Frost mm -hmm. comes out, and you're like, Sorry. well, shit, like there's Jack Frost, so is things killing real or not real? And I can remember the first time a group of us got to see it. It was like a group like this. Like you guys remind me so much of our crew behind the scenes, where this this camaraderie, which I think exists only if you uh, have made a low budget independent film of any genre. Like if you've been through that together, like there's an everlasting bond that is there. And I can remember the first time that we sat and watched Thanks Killing, and there wasn't a dry <laughs> eye in the uh, dry eye in the house. Because you guys had us howling, like I said, from from Pilgrim boobies to the very end, where the ominous, like he's coming back in space, and <laughs> I, I always give my friend shit because I'm the only one out of the group that likes Jason X, and I'm like, see, it thinks Killing can fucking go to space, Jason X can go to space, like get on board, like, but uh, on our level, yes, exactly, man, and. Thanks Killing does, uh, like, every joke hits home. Like, if we could go back for a minute to the gravy-flavored condoms. Yeah, let's not go back to that. Uh, <laughs> you guys chose. <laughs> Can we leave that alone? That's following yeah. me till the day that I die. Some bad memories there? <laughs> <laughs> you it's all your fault, done. Kevin. It's all your fault. <laughs> The only joke that I've seen in everything, man. The only thing I've seen in that before watching it is um, the the John Benet Ramsey thing because they're like, didn't they yeah. make that joke already? But like, they like they totally missed that the joke gets told twice and then gets like mangled the third time, like hilariously. Yeah. I'm like, like, didn't they already tell that joke? And I was like, no, you're missing the the meta here. You're missing that like the same joke was told twice and then the third time it was told in a way that was just like horrific. I think those were one of those tier, those moments that we couldn't <laughs> hold it in. Those John Bonet joke oh, moments yeah. were like it took it was so hard to get through that <laughs> stuff with a straight face. Um, so hard. The other the other thing that made me just like constant stream of laughter is when Turkey cuts off the father's face, and oh, then mm -hmm. puts, That's a fan he, favorite. puts the dad's <laughs> face on him, but naturally. Supernatural turkey powers has shrunk in the size of the dad's face, <laughs> so, so it fits perfectly over turkey's face. And none of them get it. Like she's kissing him on the side. Oh, good night, baby. Good night, daddy. I love you, dad. It's just like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was and you a tough scene to film. <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, Ryan. Like, how did you guys? I was going to say one of my favorite little bits is there's that like turkey. It's kind of like the turkey's POV and it just goes between Aaron and Ryan and Lance all stacked in in the background. And you guys all kind of wave and say, happy Thanksgiving, Sheriff. And you guys are so dead serious. So I don't know how you guys did it, though, but it's like it's just a great little like bit there with that whole thing that makes it work. The the thing is, too, is the the delivery of the lines like when he finds out that it's actually not the father and it's turkey wearing his face like the turkey like yeah like, no, I I you. like what was it like getting to direct all these guys <laughs> but then you're also the voice of the turkey i mean there wasn't a lot of directing probably i mean it was more like it's it's like me and kevin and there's a couple of we had a couple of helpers. Uh, we had Steve, who was kind of helping us run lighting and, and yes! sound. But for yes, the most part, yes. it, oh, Steve. Steve was the yeah, Steve was, uh, he played the hitchhiker, uh, but he was like our key crew member besides Troy. Um, but it was just us doing most everything, staying up, working ridiculous hours. So it would be Kevin on camera, and I'm laying there with a turkey on my arm most of the time. And <laughs> these guys just, went to town and i mean there wasn't honestly it, it was a 
it really was a community thing. The way you're describing like your group of friends getting together, I think that is why people respond well to the movie because it felt like that making it where we all just, I don't know, there there was no hierarchy. You know what I mean? It, it was, wasn't- There was an outline. That, Details were up to us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we, we, you know, kept uh, on a schedule and had our shot lists and worked through things, but it wasn't, um, you know, it was easy to have these guys just play the ham up the stereotypes that they were the jock, the hick, the the crazy hermit. Uh, you know, it was not that hard, I don't think, for you guys. <laughs> General, you've been a little quieter during all this madness today. What uh, shooting your scenes? Do you have a favorite? To memory that you got to do? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't know. Um, you know, I think kind of maybe the, maybe the campfire scene where I wake up Aaron and I'm like, yeah. you know, it's a turkey drop <laughs> there, boy, you know, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> what were those, by the um, that, that was like, I mean, it, it was really, it was just a blast. <laughs> I mean, all, all the way around. Um, and, and, you know, like everybody said, it was just, you know, we just were laughing our asses off at how ridiculous everything was. And, and, and I think, you know, we all had the same kind of common end goal. We knew just, you know, just do this. And, and, um, you know, so I think it just worked out great and it was just fun all around. And again, you know, there was no hierarchy either because I think none of us would really were experienced in this. This was kind of all of our first maybe go around, so to speak. So mm. we just kind of went with it and enjoyed the moment and had fun. It was kind of hard to get some of the shots done because we were like too busy, like dicking around or goofing off or like riffing on something that somebody <laughs> said in the last scene. Like I remember, you know, Jordan getting honest a couple of times, you know, about like, you know, like, hey, come on, we got, we got to get this like scene done because, you know, you guys can't just keep yeah. giggling to yourselves for the next half hour. Mm hmm. Well, we shot it in 11 days, so there was a lot to, I mean, in, yeah, with no money. So it, there was a lot we had to do. So there was times where, yeah, we did have to find the balance between uh, fucking around and having fun and also just getting the shots that we need, getting enough footage to make a feature film. Yeah. yeah. I think we managed a pretty good balance. Absolutely. And we we're all you going guys, to yeah. school and working simultaneously. Mm -hmm. So it was like, and then you guys were like, all right, lunch, everyone come. Now you have to eat. Like, you know, like now you have to do this. Like you guys, like Jordan and Kevin were super professional about the whole thing. And that, that helped a lot. And then it's like, all right, well, what hour of what day is this? Like, okay, let's, okay, <laughs> got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Like, everything's going to work out fine. <laughs> Well, it definitely turned out fine for sure. I mean, at the end, at the end, uh, for everybody. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that experience like for you guys? Because I know with us when we did, when we did our first film under the you know the constraints that you guys had, when we finally got the thing done, it was like a oh my god, I thought this day would never be here type of a feeling. So what was that? Like for you guys, you know, both you, Jordan and uh, uh, Kevin, as it being kind of your creations, to see this thing fully completed, edited for the first time, and then all you guys as the cast, what? That's like the best feeling ever. I got to imagine. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I'm just gonna go. I'm thinking back of those days when we were like finishing up the movie. We were we had another job. And we were traveling cross country in this RV, Jordan and I. Jordan was driving. I'm in the back with my laptop trying to finish the coloring of the movie and just putting it all together. And the laptop sliding all around and the driver sliding. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God. But yes, it felt good. Um, it felt good to put it all together. And then, you know, we didn't really know what was going to happen with this movie at that point. We had distribution. Uh, with Gravitas. Actually, that's a whole other story, but um, we did have distribution and they they put it out there and, and got it out into a lot of places, which gave it the exposure that it, that it got. The biggest thing was Netflix picked it up in the early days of Netflix. Um, 
they picked it up and that's where it got, kind of gained a cult following and that's where it became kind of the movie that it is today. Because if it wasn't for those early days of Netflix, I don't think a lot of people would have, would have found this movie. And of course, from that point on, it just kind of blew up. Um, and that was awesome. That was, that was awesome. You know, for I think for all of us, I speak for myself, but I think for all of us, it was awesome. We did a re- we awesome. did a premiere in Columbus that you guys that everyone yeah, was at, I believe, awesome. and that's where that's where you could tell, like, oh, okay, this might this might go off <laughs> uh, because everyone just had such a good time. <clears throat> was Turkey at the premiere? <laughs> no, he, Turkey is not made many appearances just in, on screen in both of the movies. That was it. <laughs> he was not in the premiere. Because Turkey well, requires jamming a rubber seclusion. puppet on my arm. <laughs> right. With he likes seclusion. <laughs> Every 510 years, right? It hasn't that been 505 years. 510. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Turkey I and... Well, I think there was something that, 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 that the guys did know when they were going through the book. Necromance and the Turkey, and now it comes back sooner. It's like every five years, not 505. Yeah. Yeah. Turkey, uh, Turkey is something, man, like if you ever did a convention appearance, like you got to have Turkey at your table. We actually did. Um, in, in, Cal- in Los Angeles, like, I don't know, 10 years ago, maybe, there was a friend of ours who had a puppet related booth. And we brought all the turkey puppets, but um, and just kind of had them all on display. From, I mean, there's not a lot from the first one. There's one puppet that did everything. Besides, there was a couple well, we burned. The sequel, the there was a lot more. But because they didn't want to get that burned, one. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we kind of like actually burned them. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> what so, was it like for you guys as the cast? to act with that thing. But also, if you look six inches beyond it, it's me laying on the ground. Like It, it wasn't that weird for me because <laughs> Ryan was super into at the time anyway, so I was used to his shenanigans. Was it, was it? Uh, you have to stay extremely focused. Focus on that turkey. <laughs> because if you looked one, one degree off, you would see Jordan just like straining. And you'd like that would crack you up. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Like seeing seeing Jordan's face beyond the turkey, Jordan. As you're doing it, what is your expression like? Are you busting up? Are you uh, trying to direct? Are you trying? What are you What are you doing as they are playing? Oh, the I mean, I'm not. Well, we didn't have right, Kevin. We didn't have any extra monitors, so I didn't know what Kevin was oh. shooting most of the time um, <laughs> because. I was just laying. So I, I'm literally, the thing is when you're dealing with puppets, you're trying to worry about a million little things like the glass eye popping out or the feather getting in the way or the like the certain angle. You kind of find that like every puppet likes to have a certain angle to make it look, you know, it the turkey looks horrible, but there's ways that it could have looked even more horrible. So what I'm thinking is more about that, just making the turkey look good and like making sure it's in focus and like just the technical side of things. And occasionally then getting wrapped up, and I'm not an actor by any means, but occasionally getting wrapped up and feeding off of your guys' energy and improvising and just coming up with crazy things. And like Ryan, that one line, I always remember, this was a this was a tear, uh, uh, a moment that we were like in tears was the, What's that turkey? A vagina or something? I forget how exactly. Yeah, like that one thing you, you haven't got. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Looks like I've got something you don't got. And then you said, "What's that turkey? A vagina?" And that was in the script. Um, the, way he, the way that he says it too is like, well, "What's that?" Like, it just mm-hmm. kept jokes keep freaking hitting you in the face. The fact how that you didn't mm-hmm. break on that line is amazing. How much of the jokes were written versus uh, like just stuff you guys came up on the fly? Um, like 50/50, yeah, probably about 50 50. I mean, the one, the biggest thing that got improv that, and I remember very well, just kind of like hold, trying to hold on to the camera because I was shaking from laughing was the, the coffee scene between Turkey and, and the sheriff, and the <laughs> sheriff was in a turkey costume, and the turkey's in a Groucho Marx human costume. 
and Jordan and Jordan and uh, Chuck just went at it like they just improv that entire scene. That is not in the script, like at all. I don't think maybe there's like one or two lines, but um, yeah, that was hilarious. Yeah, oh, this coffee tastes, like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> tastes like shit. Yeah, yeah. This coffee tastes like shit. Yeah, hazelnut. <laughs> Chuck and Jordan <laughs> improving the entire scene. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember uh, one of the scenes that was like completely unplanned was um, when like I'm like in the sky and like reaching down to Darren oh, yeah, like yeah. you know come with me like I was just standing around and I, I think it was Ryan that said like hey like you know that's a like I think I was standing on a picnic table and he was like looking up at me and was like like that looks amazing and like Jordan walked over and he's like yeah that does look amazing and so like we like just on the fly made this thing where like I was like calling Darren to the light. <laughs> come on, buddy. Come with me. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not that bad, really. <laughs> I'll never forget your That's line bad. in the Jeep when you asked telling Darren that his mom's got the juiciest poon in town. <laughs> <laughs> that was improv, I think. That was improv. I think, yeah, I think that was in the yeah. script. Or was it? Okay. That might have been in this. Yeah. <laughs> There was a good amount. I'd say, like, maybe even it may have even been more 75. 25 I think that's scripted. my annual Thanksgiving message is that I'm always thankful that mom has the juiciest poon in town. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question for the cat. What, how's it been the last, you know, 11 years with this movie coming out and becoming what it is? What's your most, what is the best story you've received from that? Have, you, have people recognized you guys on the street at any point or, or, you know, online messages, anything like that? I've gotten more pictures of girls' boobs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you said, being honest. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Funny. Thank you for that. <laughs> Anybody hey, yeah. I don't think I've ever been recognized like that, but like I, there have been weird like things where like I have uh, like my sister in law lives in Florida, and like she called you know my wife and she was just like, hey, I'm in a bar in Florida, and on the projector they're playing Thanks Killing, like I don't know why, but like I like I I, heard, I thought I heard you know Carl's voice and I turned around and he's on the screen. That's amazing. That's amazing. Ryan, how about you? I think for, for me, you know, um, I was playing in Topeka, Kansas one time. And and I did, you know, the one song for it, Thanks Killing, which plays over the end of credits there. And so we're doing this show, and I played it, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, it's from Thanks Killing, blah, blah, blah. And then so after this show, this girl comes up to me, and she's like, oh, thank you for playing that. I love that movie so much. And she still didn't put together who I was. And she's telling me all this stuff, and I'm finally, I'm like, I glanced at her, and I gave her this kind of like smirky look, you know, and I'm like, you know, I was in that, right? And her eyes just lit up, and her mouth goes open wide, and she goes, ah! and goes running away. And I'm like, oh, man, what the hell is going on here? And she comes back a couple minutes later with her friend, and she's like, this is the guy, this is the guy, and wanted to take pictures and all that. And it was just like hilarious, so her reaction when she actually put it all together of who I was and all of that, it was just hilarious. That's amazing. That is awesome. That is such a good story. That's so funny. Brian, what about you, man? Have you uh, been cornered? Brian's the most famous. I, 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 like, I've, I, I've put myself out there online, I think, quite a bit. I Like, I try to actively do conventions whenever I can. I mean, this is the one leg I can stand on. And, I mean, I've, I've got to do, you know, that's how I got out to Sacramento. You know, I've been... I've been to multiple conventions in the Midwest, um, and uh, it's crazy when you put Thanksgiving, like just me, this guy who's done nothing else, in a horror convention, because everyone knows, like no one's going to yeah. go out of their way to go meet the guy from Thanksgiving. No one, no one's going to drive to a convention and say, "I just want to meet the guy from Thanksgiving," but they will absolutely stop by the table and talk your ear off, and it's that's been like the coolest thing is just having that opportunity and meeting people from all over the country and engaging with fans. Cause that is, it's like the coolest thing. There's so much out there and people love the movie. I, I literally met. Yeah. I, I, like 
Jake the Snake Roberts has seen the movie. I sat next to him at a convention uh, once, and he's seen the movie. He said his son, he said his son loves it. <laughs> I didn't even know he had a son. That's great. I, I heard yeah. that um, Jake Tapper. You can't go wrong with the endorsement <laughs> like that. Sorry. Like, Jake Tapper is a big fan. Yes. Jake yeah, Tapper, just, that's true. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I've seen that. I'm like, okay, weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's been, you guys know it's been on Ellen, right? And it's been on uh, family, family Feud as well. Really? I didn't know that. Family mm -hmm. Feud? Yeah. 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 What was it doing on Ellen? Uh, they they had. To... <laughs> I forget. It was, it was Ellen and Lupita and Nyong'o. And they were trying to guess if a movie was real or not based on the, <laughs> based on the like, log line. And Thanksgiving was one of those movies, and they put it on there, on the screen. They put the poster of Thanksgiving. It even says boobs in the first second. Uh, <laughs> on Ellen. Um, and Lupita, I think Lupita guessed it. She said, yeah, it's real. That's a real movie. And she's like. That's why Ellen liked it, you know? <laughs> Shit. It's amazing. Natasha, we are having technical difficulties, but we got you back on in time to, to hear your what was like the response after Thanks Killing just from like your friends or did anybody ever like come up to you and be like, You're the girl from Thanks Killing? What was it what what has it been like since? Um kind of weird. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, when uh Jordan and Ryan and I reconnected a couple years ago in Ohio, we kind of discussed that that like um, the fans get really weird. Like, I was living in the Dominican Republic at the time, and then there's like people contacting me, like, I want the oldest, smelliest shoes of yours, and I'll pay you $500 for them. <laughs> and I'm going to put them in my shrine. Of, and I was like, whoa, like, no, no, like, even though, like, I was, at the time, I was kind of like, well, like, I don't know. I do have old, smelly shoes, <laughs> but, like, and <laughs> if, <laughs> if it's going to make this dude happy, like, maybe I'll do that. But, like, at the same time, I was like, I'm Tell like, I'm uh, and it's a deal. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> hundred so, bucks. hundred no. bucks. What do you got to be like? No, seven fifty. Not five. five. <laughs> These shoes. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. And everything. Yeah, you got to sign them though, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. you know, like yeah. I'm pretty sure he's been printing himself on those in a way that five, age can't like, copy. Like, like um, yeah, maybe not. Like I, I thought about it, and then I was like, um, I already <laughs> that whole thing was weird enough as it was. Like I, <laughs> and then, we were discussing this also with like. When, when we met up in Ohio, that it was like, you know, like, so, because Jordan was asking us, you know, like, so how do you feel about, like, what you did? <laughs> you know, and I was like, well, there's, like, been moments in time that I was, like, embarrassed about it. And then, it, it, like, there's kind of, like, a point of realization that I'm like, well, if you're, if you don't get the joke, then... You don't get me, so. It's really what it boils off. down to. <laughs> no, and I mean this. I think this is a, a good uh, thing for anybody to take away, whether it be filmmaker, actor, friends, or, or you know, a total stranger's opinion. Like you had a you know thing that you wanted to get done, and this is like if the movie was a complete bomb, or if it turned out being as loved as it is now. Like, at the end of the day, you guys were a cast and crew, director, writer, all of it. You set forth on this journey to make a movie, and you guys freaking made a movie, man. And if someone wants to think about <clears throat> like making a movie, to hell with them. Because there's a lot of people out there that love your guys' movie, and you should... Uh, you guys, I, I got the feeling that you do love it, but you guys should absolutely love it too because Thanksgiving, or God damn it, Thanksgiving <laughs> is bad. <laughs> but before Get we let right. you know, 
before you, I let you guys all go, Jordan, your top <clears throat> three wines as Turkey in Turkey, please. My top favorite, my favorite <laughs> yeah. three, yes. or yes. your favorite three. Yes. You guys no, can all pick favorite. if you want. No, I want from the well, from the turkey's mouth himself, the turkey's <laughs> favorite top <laughs> three wines. I don't know. I mean, it's I don't sit around uh, thinking about this on a daily basis. I mean, you've got to go gobble gobble, motherfucker, <laughs> right? So yeah, but you no, got to say it's turkey. It. You have to do it in the turkey. No, 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 I know. Huh? No. Well, okay. First of all, you have to keep in mind it's pitched, so it's not going to sound exactly the same. But gobble gobble, motherfucker. <laughs> um, oh, then of course the follow up to that is classic. Now that's what I call foul play. <laughs> the laugh. The laugh is um, so The laugh is the laugh, straight. The laugh. Uh, and what's the another nice good kids, one? Bitch, which people seem to love. Oh yeah. What what do you say? Nice tits. People bitch. seem to love the the nice yeah, tits yeah. bitch line too. I get that quoted to me a lot. No, oh, that's yeah. Of course, that's people. <laughs> that's, that's definitely a favorite. It's not my favorite, but it's a favorite. Uh, well, he, I'm trying did, to think of. You did too. What's your favorite? What's one, two? Then? No, what's I don't. Yours? That's you what I'm trying to. Three. You did two lines. You I'm gonna drink. Your, I know. I'm gonna drink your blood of like your favorite. Blood. Don't listen to oh, me. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to drink my your blood. Like, to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> uh, Go deep, this is definitely, Kevin's right. This is definitely one of the best. I'm going to drink your blood like cranberry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the laugh is perfect. I love that. The laugh is, is, <laughs> is a poor to man's friend now, burger. That, to all you guys, thank you so much for taking the time. If you, the thank viewer you. of this, have not seen Thanks Killing yet, go find it, man, because it is a classic. I thank all you guys very much for taking the time. This was a blast. Check out Thanks Killing. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you.